again on uh, Saturday the 23rd of March. Um, on my way to uh, League 2 game between Morecambe and Gillingham. So it's a long trip for me today. Um, coming on the bus, typical UK weather every season in the same day. Sunshine, then heavy rain, then sunshine again, but we're back to rain now. So, me travel itinerary is a train from Meadowall to Leeds and then from Leeds to Morecambe. It's about three and a half hours. But it's right up in the northwest. So, I suppose I've got to put up with it. So, I shall see you en route. So, it's Skybet League 2, Morecambe against Gillingham. I need to make it on the train even though it were a five or ten minutes delayed but I'm, I'm on route now so I'm at Barnsley from Meadowall to Barnsley we're only about ten minutes I think the next station after this is Leeds so uh, I'll see you at Leeds we're uh, hoping to get some breakfast still cold and miserable but it's not on the train it's quite comfortable so I'm happy so I shall see you when we get to Leeds Off we pop. There's very few games today in League One. I think there's only three because of the internationals. And there's a full programme in League Two that should sort some of the remaining equations out, although the playoff race is really tight. It's 12th against 10th today at uh, the Mizuma Stadium. Both teams have got slight playoff ambitions. Uh, a draw today would get do neither team any good at all. But both um, Morecambe and Gillingham, if they win today, they could start a run of uh, form that might uh, get them into the top seven. Both had reasonable seasons. Gillingham obviously so much better than last season. And Morecambe having to get having getting relegated. Have sort of, uh, they've bedded down in League 2, they've not been in any danger. So I'm hoping for a decent game. So I shall see you again when we get to Leeds. Leeds Station. Bit of a rush to get on the train really. So I went to uh, McDonald's for uh, my breakfast. And I only had a few minutes so I had tough time to film. But at Leeds now so it's about, just about halfway. I think it sets up in about five minutes, so I'll see you at the seaside in Morecambe. Welcome to Morecambe. Just the briefest of looks of Morecambe and Morecambe Bay with a tide in. Very, very cold and windy. Cloud covered sky. It's nice to be beside the seaside, but not in this weather. Really cold. Have a walk. One of Morecambe's most favourite tourist spots. Steppers here. Are you alright, mate? You could hold the camera if you would. Yeah. Because I'm filming at the moment. <laughs> the Eric Morecambe statue. Yeah, one of Morecambe's most famous tourist attractions. Thank you to the guy that held the camera. Yes, it's very windy. The sea looks a bit choppy today. So I'm going to see if I can get on a bus now.
to the ground. Obviously, you've got to get to the Mishungma Stadium. We've arrived at the Mizuma Stadium. I've been before. All this looks impressive at the front. Horrible day, rain, wind. But what, can, what do you do? We're just going to have a look in the club shop now. I'm not filming in there because I don't like. But uh, there's a pub, the Hurley Flyer there. And there's a caravan site straight across the road. So if anybody comes for an away game in like July or August, ideal place to stay. We'll just cross the road now. Oh, I've just seen my mate, just seen Lee. Alright, I'll see you in a minute. Gillingham team bus arriving. I think uh, the co I think they'll be uh, a bit surprised how cold it is after being on a nice warm coach. So the next time you see me, I'll be inside the stadium, hopefully trying one of the pies out. The famous chicken ham and leek pie from Morecambe FC. Looks very good. I shall definitely let you know how it goes down. Well, I'm not um, not filming myself eat it, so uh, I don't think I will anyway. Yeah, it looks very nice. And pour, uh, good big pie as well. So I shall tell you how it goes down. It smells delicious. Right, latest guys, here we are inside the Mizuma Stadium. And th thankfully I've got another covered terrace because it's absolutely belted it now. Uh, I feel sorry for those fans on this open terrace part because they're going to get wet. I thought I were on there actually at first, but no. Uh, the pie went down very, very well. Lots and lots of filling, although the crust were a little bit hard today. Uh, it's not as good as I remember it last time, but it's still a very nice pie and it still went down very well. But I think this club's that's overtaken Morecambe in the pie steaks but I still enjoyed it and it still filled a hole I was very hungry so anyway back to the game um, anything other than three points for either side I think will knock them out of the playoff race um, if, he, if either side gets three points today they could kick on and get in the top seven although it'll still be very difficult but it's so congested in League 2, so anything can happen. Who knows? But I'm looking forward to a good, decent game between two good sides. Um, I think Gillingham will have to be on the metal defensively. Because they don't score many, many goals. But, uh, Morecambe, which Morecambe's going to turn up? The ones that lose to the bottom of the league or the ones that uh, that turn a two-goal deficit into a 3-2 win at Crewe. Who knows? It's been a, that sort of season for Morecambe. So anyway, I'm looking forward to it anyway. I turn when the teams come out, half and full-time summaries and mid-half summaries as usual. Um, I'm going to do a prediction though. I have a sleepy, sneaking feeling Jill's 1-0 today, I don't know why, but I think so. I've met uh, my friend Matt from Jill's in the Blood for the first time today and his daughter Ava, which I really enjoyed meeting him because I see a lot of his videos and I really rate him very highly. So I'll be looking out for his vlog from today, as I will Lee on Around the Grounds, who always does fantastic vlogs and uh, my little effort will be coming up sometime this weekend i hope you watch it well you will be watching it also right you know what i mean i'm an old man there you go right so it's uh sky bet league two morecambe against Gillingham. players just warming up now morecambe plays with the her game two uh t-shirts on count still slowly starting to build very slowly, but we're still a long way from kickoff time. 
Uh, it's raining quite heavily now. Plane surface looks really good for uh, the end of March. Really good. So I shall see you when the teams come out. So it's uh, Sky Bet League till Morecambe against Gillingham. Just waiting for the teams to come out. Dream seems to have stopped. And Morecambe and Wise run out music. You can't really argue, can you? The sun's just wandering out, so they'll be out any second now. Charles built up a bit. There's, a month, there's quite a few on that open terrace, to be honest with you. Surprise me. But you've got a fantastic view from there. And that's where look, the TV gantry is. Matt's got to try to judge the uh, crowd up, it's not working. <laughs> This intense build up, it's throughout the EFL. Let's get the teams out and let's get them all out playing. I think they are. I think they're about to come out. Morecambe in the traditional red shirts, white shorts. And I think Gillingham have got a black and white away kit for playing in today. There's almost a massive delay for some reason. I don't know why. There we go. Yeah, I was right. Gillingham in the black and white away kit. Malcolm in the traditional red and white. So looking forward to this one. Both teams with playoff ambitions. Um, I think a draw would be no use to anybody, but a win for either side could re reignite their uh, ambitions again into the top seven. So Sky Bet League 2, Morecambe against Gillingham. A long busting run from halfway, the ball was passed to Jordan Smusler who will beat the keeper. Uh, more or less the first decent attack Morecambe have had. And uh, Jordan Slow took it away on 11 minutes. Uh, Jill's had the ball in and out on 7 minutes. So actually, but it was uh, disallowed for offside from a corner. And Jill has loved the better side up until this point. But it's goals that win games, and with uh, 11 minutes gone, it's Morecambe 1, Gillingham 0. Good, really good finish as well. Really good. Stuck it away very well. So I've kept up my record of not having nil nils. So yeah, 12, well, 11 and a half minutes gone. Morecambe 1, Gillingham nil. On 18 minutes, uh, equaliser for the Gills. Uh, across from the right hand side was parried by the keeper right into the into the uh, path of the Holly Hawkins who just tapped it in really easy finish so I've seen two goals in the first 20 minutes and it's not been that good a game really but it's, it's produced two goals which I'm happy about so it's at the moment it's the uh, result nobody wants it's uh, Morecambe 1, Gillingham 1. Sorry, lad. Coming to the last of two minutes added time at the end of the first half. A very even game and it's still 1-1. One, one. Both teams have played well in spells and it's been interesting rather than terrifically exciting. Um, Morecambe took the lead on seven minutes. Well, no, sorry, it was uh, about 12 minutes when uh, Jordan Scott... Slow scored expertly after a long busting uh, run from ground Brown. 
Uh, the Jill's equaliser when the cross from the right was tapped in after a goalkeeping mistake by Ollie Hawking, Hawkins. Since then, there's been one or two half chances either side, but nothing really to write over that. They look to be two evenly matched sides. And uh, they seem to be cancelling each other out a little bit at the moment. But a draw's no good for either of them's playoff ambitions, so somebody's going to have to uh, take a risk and get a, uh, get a goal second half, I would think. And that is the half time whistle. Morecambe 1, Gillingham 1. Oh, eight and a half minutes in, second half gone. We're still cancelling each other out here. Um, seems a very even game, very competitive, but somebody's going to have to start uh, building up ahead of steam. Most this will peter out into a draw. Um, like I said, very competitive. Not, it's a bit short on quality at the moment, but both teams going for it, and both teams working extremely hard. There were 55 minutes gone, well, 54 and a half minutes gone. It's more than one, Gillingham one. I just hope this doesn't beat it out into a draw. Looking like it at the moment, but who knows. I'll just walk them on the attack here. I'll just reserve judgment, but it just gets cleared. So, yeah, 55 minutes gone. More than one, Gillingham one. Died um, just after my last um, update, so I missed the last half hour. And, uh, what a cracking last half hour it was! Um, Morecambe went back in front with uh, Brown scoring from close range, and um, it was slightly against the run of the play in a very even game. But well, then Dieng equalised with a cracker of a shot from the edge of the box that flew in the top corner. Um, chances at both ends then, and Jill's got the win with a goal from Mahoney uh, close in near the end. Uh, Jill's hit the post from a, from a break just after that and uh, ran out 3 2 winners in a cracking last half hour after a fairly pedestrian first hour but on balance I think Jill's probably just about deserved it but it was a very even game it was one of those games that could go either way and League 2 have certainly delivered this season I've not been to a boring one yet but unfortunately for me anyway the phone died I've got back on the train now and I'm putting some juice in it, so all good. Now the sun's out after being absolutely um, blatting down with rain earlier on. Uh, so, yeah, uh, again, a very, very enjoyable League 2 game that's ended. Welcome to Gillingham 3.